Hi everyone, welcome to another question and answer session. Which of the following nerve is most often permanently damaged during a superficial parotid ectomy? So after the reading, we have to find out the key point to answer the question. Uh, that which of the nerve is most often permanently damaged during the superficial parotidectomy. So we have the options. Options are greater auricular nerve, facial nerve, greater occipital nerve, accessory nerve, and ophthalmic branch of the trigeminal nerve. So first of all, we have to know the nerve who is present very close to the parotid gland. So during the parotidectomy, this nerve may be damaged. So first of all, we can see this is the parotid gland of a person, and here we can see a nerve is going on the sternocleidomastoid muscle, and it supplies in the parotid region and posterior auricular region. And here we can see the name of the nerve is great auricular nerve or greater auricular nerve. So this is one of the nerve which is present very close to the parotid gland, and it may be damaged during the parotid gland operation secondly we can see this is a nerve which is the facial nerve and this facial nerve it passing through the parotid gland and within the parotid, parotid gland it provides or divides into it is five terminal branches here in the above area this is the temporal then zygomatic then buccal then marginal mandibular and cervical so the five terminal branches the arises within the substance of the parotid gland so during the operation this facial nerve also may be get damaged so in this picture we can see again here this is the great auricular nerve and we can see this great auricular nerve it lies just outside the parotid gland or just overlying the parotid gland so during the parotid gland removal or during the surgery it may be damaged first in the second picture also we can see this is the great auricular nerve and this great auricular nerve is uh, overlies directly on the parotid gland and may get damaged here we can see this is the greater auricular nerve which is the branch from the cervical plexus and uh, these four nerve actually they are the uh, sensory branch from the cervical plexus and uh, here we can see the facial nerve facial nerve lies uh, relatively deep so uh, the chance of injury to uh, during the superficial parotidectomy of the parotid gland the chance of injury of the facial nerve is relatively less than that of the greater auricular nerve or great auricular nerve because the great auricular nerve it lies most superficial and during parotidectomy it may be get damaged so our final answer is the great auricular nerve this great auricular nerve may be permanently damaged during the superficial parotidectomy on the other hand the facial nerve it may be get damaged but it located between the superficial and deep part of the parotid gland so during the superficial parotidectomy facial nerve usually not get damaged but get auricular nerve it lies most superficial so it may be get damaged and here on important line you can see that if you are confused by this make sure that uh, you are clear on what question is asking in above nerve injury it is very rare for facial nerve to be induced during the parotid surgery so this point is very very important that the facial nerve injury during the parotid gland surgery is extremely extremely rare so this will not be get damaged thank you all